Namaste friends. I thought I was too smart to fall for a scam. I teach system design, cloud security, and I have made videos about OAuth, JWT, and securing APIs. And yet, I got hacked. And it started with what looked like a harmless VPN offer, something I have been promoting before. But behind that sleek website was a trap. And I walked right into it. Now, this isn't just a story about getting hacked. It's a breakdown of how even technical people like you and me can get tricked and what to do when it happens. So, a few days ago, I got an email pitch from someone claiming to represent a VPN service called VoiceShield, and the website looked polished. HTTPS, secure padlock, modern design, and even offered a free trial and it checked all the boxes of a legit sponsorship opportunity. And I figured maybe they wanted to show off a seamless onboarding experience. So I filled my card details and I clicked on subscribe now. And nothing happened. Now that felt off. So I opened up Chrome DevTools just out of habit. And that's when the first real red flag hit me. The site wasn't making any network calls to Stripe or PayPal or anything payment related. It was just firing Google Analytics events behind a fake button. The moment I saw that, I picked up the phone and called my bank. I told them my card might have been compromised and asked them to freeze it immediately. So they cancelled it and issued me a new one. And that was my first real damage control move. And thankfully, I did it early. But what happened next was worse. Now, before we dive deeper, here is something that will make your engineering workflows as scalable as your systems. Monday.com it's a powerful work OS where you can build, track, and manage anything from sprint plans to production rollouts. What really stands out? Monday.com connects with everything your team already uses. GitHub, Slack, Gmail, Google Calendar, and more. Imagine you are building a feature like a multi-step user authentication. Front-end, back-end, QA, and DevOps, all working in parallel. Whether your team's remote, hybrid, or global, Monday.com keeps everyone in sync. So say, if you want to ping QA as soon as the backend is ready, or auto-close a task the moment a GitHub PR is merged, Monday.com can handle all of that for you. And now, with Monday AI, you can instantly generate project plans, summarize team updates, and even write detailed tasks, all in seconds. Take AI blocks for example. Let's say you are a recruiter managing a growing list of candidates. Instead of manually going through each resume, Monday.com's AI can automatically extract key info like years of experience, current employer, and contact details and fill it into your board. You can even set it to assign labels based on specific skills or prioritize candidates who meet your hiring criteria. It's fast, consistent, and saves hours of manual work. My viewers can try Monday.com for free by going to the link below. The site offered a Mac installer via terminal, like any regular site, and that's where I made my mistake. I ran it. Thankfully, Google stepped in just in time. I got a critical security alert saying, someone might have your password. And within minutes, they had locked me out of all my Google accounts. And that alert probably saved me. Because that's when it hit me. I recalled, wait, didn't I also run that VPN script earlier? And I started backtracking everything I have done. I pulled up the install script, this one right here, using curl and cat command to see the details and read it line by line. Here is what the script did and why it is so dangerous. It first creates a folder and starts asking you for a password. Basically, it creates a hidden looking directory in your home folder. It's prepping a place to store something. And then it asks for your Mac login password under the pretense of authentication. No red flags visually. This looks like any pseudo based CLI tool. This line here silently checks if the password is valid. No output, just a hidden background verification. And this, it writes your actual password in plain text to file called pass.txt on your disk. No encryption, nothing. And then it escalates privileges silently. It uses your just entered password to gain full root access. No password prompts. It's already holding your credentials. And depending on your Mac's architecture, it downloads either an x64 or ARM64 binary, probably a compiled payload, and silently runs it. The file name is intentionally vague. It's not VPN underscore installer or client.app, just x64, designed to blend in and avoid suspicion. It also disables macOS Gatekeeper 
just long enough to run the binary without warnings and then re-enables it like wiping fingerprints of a doorknob. And I let it do all that, thinking I was testing a VPN tool. The moment I realized what I had done, I switched into full incident response mode. First, I began with obvious cleanup, the artifacts left behind by the script. I deleted every file it touched. That auto login folder contained passed out text where the script had saved my Mac login password in plain text. And then I deleted the binaries it downloaded and executed. These were the architecture specific binaries fetched from malicious server and executed using elevated privileges. This file wasn't harmful, but it served as a trace log, possibly used for tracking successful infections. The next step was finding out if anything else had quietly been installed in the background. Nothing popped up. So far, so good. But I didn't stop there. I scanned the system for hidden apps, launch agents, demons, basically anything that could persist after reboot. I checked applications and binaries in user local bin, just in case the installer had renamed itself. And finally, I looked for config files buried deep inside under library application support. Once I was confident there were no leftover files, I ran a full scan with malware bytes. No threats found, which was a huge relief. But I wasn't taking chances. I immediately changed my Mac password and then moved on to rotating credentials for high value accounts, email, banking, GitHub, and especially Google. This command here also helped me spot any recently installed executables. Thankfully, nothing looked malicious other than what I had already deleted. Now, because my YouTube account had already been targeted, I went deep. I enabled two-factor authentication using passkeys and touch ID. I signed out of all devices, reviewed every connected app with OAuth access, and reworked anything that looked suspicious or unfamiliar. At that point, I felt like I had finally contained the breach. But here is the scary part. The site used valid HTTPS, clean UI, and even included harmless looking Google Analytics. It didn't raise any typical phishing alarms to me. And this wasn't just about clicking a shady link in a spam folder. This was a sophisticated trap built for technical users. If you are a developer, creator, or engineer like me, this could happen to you too. So always read shell scripts line by line, never enter your password into terminal unless you are absolutely trusting the source. And don't let the HTTPS log icon fool you. It doesn't mean the site is safe. It only means the connection is encrypted. I'm sharing this story not just as a warning, but as a reminder, even UT security, you're not immune to being targeted. The best defense is humility, quick response, and sharing what you have learned. If this video helped you, give it a like, and please share it with your tech friends. Let's normalize talking about these incidents without shame. We learn, we grow, and we protect each other better that way. Stay safe out there. This is Himalaya signing off.